Hi everyone, CG Seb here. Today I'm going to teach you all you need to know to make a realistic old wood with cracked paint like this one. So let's dive right in. I have here a box, a wooden box, and I have a material. First of all, we're going to start with a tree layer. Pressing F, click tree layers. I would like to have a green military color. I find this color pretty good, so I'm going to copy it and we have the basic. In order to make it more realistic, it's always important to use this trick. So you can use a U saturation value, copy the color here, plug it here, it does nothing because we didn't change any of this. So we're going to go to the grudges and choose the grudge number five. If we plug the result into the facts, it still does nothing because we need to change the value. And you start seeing some variation. To better see what we're doing, we're gonna watch the result output. If you haven't already, I truly advise you to go to the preferences add-on and enable the Nod Wrangler add-on here. This is free, it comes with Blender. So if you shift control click on this, you see the mask and we will be able to play with the scale to make it a little bit bigger and adjust it as we want. Great. If we control shift click on this one, we see the variation that we are making with the U for saturation value. We have the basic, now it's time to add some roughness. The roughness is important because this is wood and we have by default 0 0.3, which is pretty shiny for a wood. So I will make it one, so we have a dark wood and I will adjust this because this is too uh, dark. So now we have the basic color and we would like to add some stickers on the box. So we're going to press F, image, and find a an PNG image to have it. So press G, hold control to stick it to the face, scale it, rotate it, and nothing happens because we need to connect this node here. And boom, we have the sticker. So this bottom layer will be the stickers. If you would like to add more stickers, I will let you uh, do it and adjust everything. For this video, I'm gonna only go with one sticker. So we have the first layer, we have the second layer, and the third layer will be the destruction of the paint. So for the destruction of the paint, we have a special node made for wood. If we go to the wood and click on wood cracked paint, we have a new big node and we can use it in the mask. Now, by default, this is the opposite of what we want. So we're gonna shift A, click search and type invert. This will invert the colors. Great. So this will be the wood behind the paint. We have to create this color. Uh, we can use a wood tool as an example and plug the color into the color. We have a good color and I'm gonna increase the roughness to be one because this is wood and try to find a place where there is a big crack so you see the orientation of the wood. If it doesn't align with the cracks, like this example, uh, we see that the cracks are from top to bottom and then the wood is from left to right. So you can adjust the variables along Z and uh, it's following the right uh, thing. Good, we have the wood and we can adjust the um, 
We can adjust the color. We're gonna plug also the normal and adjust the normal. Great. We can also plug the normal into the layer of the paint because the paint is also affected a little bit by the normal and we have a basic. This is good, but it's still not quite look like this is a layer on top of this one. It, it kinds of uh, look like it is melted. The reason for that is because we don't have normal for this paint. By default, the wood cracked paint doesn't uh, allow us to use this normal. So I'm gonna use the mask, drag it, type bump, and select bump height. We will need to plug the normal of this one here and this one here. So it adds the normal of this one and the normal of the mask. Try to find a place where there is light coming from the side and it starts looking more realistic now because we see that this is a layer on top of this one. Pretty good. By the way, to have this stretch effect I have on the planks right here, you need to stretch your object and then apply the scale and the UVs will be stretched naturally. I will let you discover the different settings on the wood cracked paint because it always depends on the result you want and the object you are working with, but you can play with the thickness of the cracks, uh, the probability and everything here. We have a basic cracked paint, but the edges has to be a little bit worn. To do so, I'm gonna use the all edges mask. With this mask plugged into this one, we will be able to combine them and say to Blender, hey, use this mask and this mask to uh, show the wood behind the paint. So I'm gonna use F, lighten, plug this here and plug the mask into this one. Pretty good. We have the basic of the edges, but all the edges everywhere there is an edge this is worn and this is not realistic. So we need to adjust the edges. The edges as a texture input. So let's use a grunge, maybe the number five. We link the result into the texture and this is a little bit more random as you can see. We can make the paints a little bit more realistic by changing the color again. So duplicate this node, choose a grunge. I'm gonna still, st I'm gonna stay with the grunge number five because this is the style we have a little bit everywhere and plug the result into the fact. This time we're gonna not gonna change the value, we're gonna change the U. So shift, control shift, on the color to see the result, of course, and play as usual with the scale and everything you want. Uh, the U is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna increase this a bit to make a color variation. This is very important in realistic textures to add variation with the color and the tones because the paint is not uh, uniform on all the surface, especially with a uh, destroyed texture like this one. If you find the second layer being a little bit too flat, you can always increase the strength. But of course, because this is plugged in the first layer, it will increase it in the first layer. So how do we make those two separate effects? Like this is affecting a little bit less this layer uh, you have a simple way is just to duplicate here, plug the normal into this one. This will be the first layer, so the green part, and put a lower strength like 0 
and a bigger strain for the second layer. Okay, so that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it and see you on the next one.